Hey, do you want to know what literally 10 minutes sped up to about 25 seconds AFK against Lucent Mega Google looks like? <laughs> Is killing you so exhausting? <sighs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sunbreak Hunters, all! Are you ready, may I ask, to once more be immortal? Yes, with title update one, the unkillable build, the build to stand atop all others, the build that breaks the game. Well, it's got buildier. I shouldn't have gone with buildier. There was cooler words than buildier. It just, it just kind of felt right. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, title update one has been very good to an already very good immortal build. We were already damn near impossible to kill while still pumping out damage because you never need to heal, so you're constantly attacking, so your uptime is crazy. And yes, crazy is the word. We're still healing permanently, passively, like mental, and well, now we have even more monster attacks to just laugh at. I mean, seriously. Oh no, I'm stunned and Lucent's doing his tail slam. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the Blood Nova from an afflicted Lunagaron! Oh my god, it's Lunagaron's ultimate attack! Oh! <laughs> I cannot express how much of a cheat code this build is. So, without further ado then, what's the big game changer? Well, you might realize it's a little bit of shining gold. Yes, indeed. Uh, with the addition of Gold Rathian comes the addition of Gold Rathian Armor. And with the addition of Gold Rathian Armor comes the addition of Defiance. A lovely one slot skill that gives us an extra 30 defense just for fun, as well as immunity to all of the monsters' annoying stuff. That's really nice, but on top of that, her chest piece is ridiculously efficient for this. Not only do we get a bit of defiance, we get full divine blessing, and we get a bit of counter-strike, and as we don't care about healing or if we get hit, counter-strike is basically up constantly while using the immortal build, which makes it even more powerful in turn. Yes, it does mean giving up Malzano chest, so we're running two blood light instead of three now, but honestly, you really don't need it. Healing for 7% against broken parts is more than enough when you already don't even need the Malzano blood right healing to begin with because this build, as I say, is ridiculous. I mean, you're seeing how much I do not care in the slightest about our level 68 afflicted Lunagaron friend here. And I kill him in about 17 minutes, if you are wondering, which, yeah, isn't the fastest in the world. It's not like crazy slow, but it's done completely comfortably with zero danger of carting, with never using a potion, with absolutely no worry at all. Just constant attack, 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 attack. And I'm doing this very deliberately letting myself get hit. I've not weaved in any proper offensive skills. I'm not using strong arm. You could do a lot better with this if you go maybe half immortal, still be unkillable, but, you know, hit a lot harder. The point is, this build literally makes the game pathetically easy, so uh, use at your own risk. That said then, what are we actually working with? Well, as I alluded to, the only change we have needed to make on the previous immortal build for Sunbreak is swapping that Malzano chest for Golden Rathian chest. This is a really lovely setup, and we end up with a skill this that looks like, well, Defense Boost 7, fantastic, Defiance 5, fantastic, Divine Blessing, Recovery Up, Recovery Speed, far less damage taken, and all 
of that healing. We can get stunned. We even now can fit heroics. So God forbid if we ever somehow get to 35% health. Oh, we get an extra 100 defense just for fun. And a bit more damage too. That Kashala blessing. So we're constantly healing. And generally a smattering of offensive skills. And random leftover skills that just kind of make it pop. Oh, and thanks to the spirit bird decoration. We can now just whack that in a one slot. And just slowly get more immortal as the hunt progresses in non-arena hunts, which is again absolutely fantastic. Thank you, title update. Talisman wise, you just want whatever gives you the most slots and ranks of the immortal skills, which is everything on page one of the skill list. And then when it comes to our weaponry, well, Camellios is still the best because poison very specifically helps contribute to our damage massively when we don't have a load of offensive skills. It's also a very decent weapon with a very decent amount of slots. The Camellios Blessing Rampage is the most immortal Rampage slot decoration, but you could still use an Anti-Wyvern if you want that extra 5% damage to have a little bit more kick to this. If you don't have a Camellios weapon, well then Lucent is an okay choice here, and that's quite nice that he has actually done that. Less poison, but a bit more pow, and you will see very, very similar results. So, Curious Crafting, then, is very interesting for a set like this. Because, well, we don't really care about getting extra skills, because the set already can fit everything and more that we need. You have really two options. Curious Craft for offensive skills, so you kill faster while, you know, being immortal, or what I've done, because of course I care about going full immortal, Curious Crafting for as much defense per piece as possible. You can get up to 40 if you're really lucky, which is just so funny when it happens. You can reach upwards of nearly 1100 just passive defense sat in this set, which is absolutely ludicrous and was never really meant to happen, but damn, am I glad that it is possible. So that's kind of the gist of it then. Basically, you have these skills, you have this armor set, you have everything maximum graded, of course, and it just means that monsters simply can't damage you and if they do you instantly heal it if you are playing this you know normally still dodging and stuff you just will never ever feel threatened especially so the fact that this survives against the title update monsters completely afk is testament to itself if you are playing this with great sword you want to be surge slash vortex slashing until the monster is poisoned and then going about your normal offensive business so you have that poison ticking for as much as possible because the poison damage really, really does help. And as we're using Rajang Helm for rank of Furious, you want to fight in Red Scroll so you get that extra bit of defense. You can add Gourmet Fish on top of this for 90 seconds of Super Immortal, but it also just isn't really needed. It just looks good. And with this set on, Blood Blight really is a gift to you because it lets you go, again, even more immortal. Other than that, there's really not a lot to say. This works with all 14 weapons, lets you mindlessly bash against the monster, and just have a great time. Dango-wise, if you are in a normal quest, i.e. not against an afflicted monster, you want recovery as your level 4, defender as your 3, and the extra red health when you take damage as your 1. We heal red health the fastest, so more of the hit being red health is very useful. Against afflicted monsters, well, we don't want that super recovery Dango because a Blood Blight disabled it, so it's not up as much as we'd like, so we get level 4 Defender, then we want level 3 of more red health when you get hit, and then finally it is Dealer's Choice, whatever you feel most comfortable with. I just like a little bit of booster, so the first 10 minutes are just that tiny bit faster offensively. Of course, for peak immortality, we have two healer Palicos with us. You want this exact setup of five Palico skills, and give them a chameleon your Palico weapon to help with your poisoning and therefore your damage. They will come in handy a lot and just really they are the cherry on top that takes you from like 
100% unkillable to that lovely 100% unkillable. I realise this has been quite the rapid pace delivery of the new Immortal set, but I imagine a lot of you have seen the first one and just want the upgraded version. But if you haven't seen the first one and want the reason behind each skill and a more in-depth look at what we're doing, why and how it works, I will link the original Immortal down below for your perusal. So yeah, there we have it everybody, the most efficient combination of skills and the way to get them that makes you a walking god of hunting and takes away any and all hope any monster has for anything approaching a fair fight. Obviously, this is not the fastest way to kill any given monster, but oh, is it fun to never have to sheave, never have to heal, never have to use items, to spend every second of the hunt just attacking and attacking and attacking, shrugging off every blow, and just feeling so powerful because of it. It is so much fun. I love the Immortal series of builds, and I will always bring you them. Because, damn it, do you know what's better than meta damage? Meta goddamn fun. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, like if you have enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.